In this video, we're going to be walking through and talking about Watt's Law. Now, when we're talking about Watt's Law, we're trying to figure out what our power being dissipated across a certain resistor is, especially in this very simple DC circuit where I have a battery and I have a resistor over here. So we've learned about Ohm's Law, figuring out that we can figure out the voltage take by taking the current times the resistance to get voltage here. We can now do something similar with Watt's Law. So let's assign it some values. It's always easier to work with something when we actually know what we're talking about. So right now I've got a 120 volt battery and I have a 30 ohm resistor connected up. I've got no other resistors in here, it's just this one load. When we're talking about Watt's Law, we're looking at the relationships between the voltage, the resistance, and the current flowing through the circuit and power. There are three basic formulas that we deal with. Power is equal to I times Z, which is the voltage times the current. Power is equal to E squared over R. And then power is also equal to I squared times R. So what we'll do is we'll assign some values here like we already have. We've got the 120 volts, the 30 ohms. And we'll start calculating our power out using each one of these formulas. Ideally, it should work out to be the same. So using Ohm's law, first we're just going to get this current. So 120 volts divided by 30 ohms gives us 4 amps. So now we have the voltage, the current, and the resistance. Let's go ahead and use one of these to determine what our power in this circuit is. Let's start with the easy one first. Power is equal to I times E, or E times I, or V times I, however you want to look at it. Again, it shows the direct proportional relationship. If our voltage goes up, our power goes up. If our current goes up, our power goes up. So P is equal to E times I, or I times E. Power is equal to 120 times 4, 120 volts times 4 amps. Calculating that out to power equals 480 watts. Now let's use this formula. P is equal to E squared over R, one of the other ones that we had. So this is when we only have, say, the voltage and the resistance. So power is equal to 120 squared over the resistance of 30 ohms. We punch that into the calculator, and lo and behold, we get 480 watts. Now we have one more formula to look at here. We're going to use P is equal to I squared times R, which means we have our current and our resistance. Let's plug the numbers in. Power is equal to 4 squared times 30. Power again works out to be 480 watts. So we can go ahead and use any of those three formulas. P is equal to E times I, P is equal to E squared over R, or P is equal to I squared times R to check out what our power is. So that's the relationships between current, voltage, and resistance in regards to power. And the nice thing too is you can always use all three formulas to go ahead and double check your work. That's the joy of Watt's Law.